How you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today we're looking at Did You Hear What Eddie Gein Done? It was by Harold Schechter and Eric Powell. I made reference to this in my Hillbilly video, and uh, I naively thought it was going to be a, like a humorous take or an irreverent take on, on Eddie Gein, but it is a flat-out straight like biography of, of him, um, and it does the impossible. It actually made me feel a little bit sorry for, for Ed Gein, <laughs> but uh, you know, don't, don't get carried away. Ed. <laughs> He's still a bad guy. All right, so Let's take a look at the back cover. This this is uh, a hard cover. This is by Albatross Press. This is the same uh, company that Eric Powell owns and operates for, for his Goon Comics. And, uh, okay, let's start. I don't know anything about Harold Schechter. I'm, I'm sorry to say that. This is the only thing I know him by. But Eric Powell, I'm a big fan of. He writes, draws, inks, letters, does everything for the Goon, you know, at various points. Um, he also did Hillbilly, which I did, was my previous video. And uh, he... He's kind of like a hot commodity. He, he For a while, he was doing a lot of Marvel co uh, covers and things like that. Uh, so, But now he's back full steam doing uh, doing the uh, the Goon. He, he had somebody else doing the Goon for a while, because I think he was working on this. Now this is out, he's back. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a graphic novel. This is all original material. Here's the first page, written by and Eric Powell, illustrated by Eric. And, uh, I'm, this is brand new. My policy on brand new books here is, See, this is August 2021. I just got it. So you, 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 this is in the stores right now. Brand new, right on the shelf. These are all the chapter titles. So my policy on brand new stuff is I'm not going to showcase the whole thing. You know, I just want to uh, in introduce you to it because I don't think it's fair because they want to get paid. I don't mind showing off a 40-year-old comic or something like that. But, uh, but uh, you know, something brand new, the, this, this this is their bread and butter. So I don't think it's right for me to, to show every page. Plus, this is a graphic novel. There's like 200-something pages. I can't show. But look at this wonderful artwork. Uh, Eric Powell is, to me, the closest to, to Will Eisner. And I still have yet to show off this here. So, uh, it, it's, it, this is Alfred Hitchcock talking about the blowback from, from uh, Psycho, which we take for granted, but Psycho had a, you know, was a big, big deal. It got a lot of criticism for it. As much as it's a beloved movie, it was shocking. So this is just people going through Ed Gein's farm. They, this is them they're exhuming his mother's grave. They find a crowbar. And now we're going back to the beginning of, you know, this is Eddie Gein's mother. This woman, I, I think, was like, they, they're implying mental illness, schizophrenia, and everything like that. The father was a, a pushover alcoholic, and mom just dominated the family with an iron fist. And there's, there's Eddie with the lazy eye and everything. It's kind of stupid, and people, kids teased him and everything like that. So, uh, like I said, I'm just going to give a little 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 taste. So here he is, you know, the parents are, uh, he's watching them carve up uh, animals and mom's yelling at him it's wrong don't do that and here's the father beating him up he actually punched the mother because she wouldn't let him drink things like that and then a, a burlesque show show uh, opens up in town and you know everybody's staring at the poster and she flips out and so they decide they got to get away from the city they buy a, a house on a farm and they become farmers you know, and he's all happy. Yes, I'm a landowner. I own a house. Meanwhile, he did nothing. She saved up all the money and bought the house. And every night they would pray. She, the, the kids reluctantly went to school. But the, uh, and here is the father beating up the mother again. And Eddie's just witnessing. And mother knows best. Uh, th this, this, this was sad. This is Eddie in school just trying to talk to people. You know, the kids are like complaining about stuff. He goes, I bet you you could talk to your mother and something. They're like, what are you talking about, you little freak? You know, he's trying to make friends. And uh, they're just making fun of him. So he goes away crying, you know. Ed's older brother was a little bit more social, was able to make some friends. but the mo And then he goes home and tells the mother. And the mother's like, well, don't play with them. They're bad. They're sinners and blah, 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 blah. You know, so the next day, the kids actually... Uh, Hey, they like they feel bad. Hey, why don't you come over and play? And he walks away because he always did what his mother told him to do. So, uh, you know, they uh, now they're, they're back to teasing him again. There's one chance to make friends, and he's just staring at the, the birds eating vulture and stuff like that. And so now they're like, "Oh, you want to be friends with us?" They they lead him into the barn, you know. And what do they do in the barn? He comes out crying, pulling his pants up. So go figure. And I'm just going to go a few more pages because uh, you get the gist of it. So here he is just, uh, you know, fishing alone in the woods, you know, 
nothing else, there's nothing else to do. And here's the chapter where his father dies. Okay, so I'll stop here. Because I, like I said, this is brand new. This was wonderful. This was uh, straightforward, uh, res respectful to the topic, respectful to how uh, touchy this hot topic is. And it's about a serial killer. So yeah, it's a, it's a little gory. It's a little, uh, you know, it's not for children. Um, it was done very matter-of-factly and, you know, very informatively. I didn't, I didn't know a lot about him. To tell you the truth, I, I don't want to know a lot about serial killers. It, it kind of like makes my stomach hurt. You know, I, I got friends and family that are all into true crime and stuff. I, I read one true crime novel about the son of Sam because, uh, you know, I lived in New York at that time. I was a kid at the time. I remember my father was not letting my, my sisters out side because they they had the long black hair and everything they fit the profile of, of, of uh, some of Sam's victims so I, I remember that and I remember there was a reward for it but I remember my neighbors were driving around in a truck that said son of Sam we're gonna get you because you know <laughs> that's how you catch the son of Sam by announcing that you you're looking for him so <laughs> whatever but it, but it affected so I read this novel and that novel oh my god it, it 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 gave me nightmares it literally gave me nightmares so I would that was my true crime uh, phase one novel and a friend of mine gave me a book about a Russian serial killer, and I, I read about two chapters, and I gave it back to him. I, I don't know. I, I, whatever. Call me a wuss. Call me whatever you want. So, but this, this one I got through because I'm a big fan of Eric Powell. It was really well written, very matter of fact, not glamorizing anything, just kind of like about it, you know, giving you information through an entertaining graphic storytelling presentation it, it was really good but then again I, I'm an unabashed Eric Powell fanboy uh, I met the, I met the man once at a comic-con and he looked pissed off and he just gave me a death glare I don't know if I reminded him of somebody or if I did something wrong I don't know or if he was in the bad news maybe he got bad news or maybe that's just the way he looks so I I, I kind of uh, missed my chance to actually talk to the guy I, I, I and uh I'm kind of mad because I, I brought a monkey wrench and I spray painted it red and I wanted him to autograph it because that's the goon's weapon. So I still got the monkey wrench. Maybe next time. I don't know. If Eric Powell, if you ever see this, <laughs> I don't know. I felt like mailing it to him. But uh, I don't know. He just looked pissed off. And I, I don't want to, you know, I may be a jerk, but I'm not the jerk that goes places where I'm not wanted. So And he didn't look like he was interested in talking to anybody at that particular moment. Okay, so back to the book. I, it's a hard, I got the hardcover. Um, I, I, what else do you want me to say? I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was an informative, entertaining read about an unpleasant subject that I'm not really interested in. So that'll tell you how well it is, the fact that I'm actually excited to talk about it. So there you go. I'll end this now because I'm going to start to ramble and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot, everybody. I don't know what's going on. It's taken forever for my videos to upload. So, uh, uh I don't know what to do. I, I got to call the cable company. All right. Thanks a lot. See you. Bye-bye.